I'm here at UDS in Orlando, Florida, and I'm with Charlene. Charlene, how do you say your last name? Poirier. Poirier. It's French. <laughs> and you're, uh, you're the head of the, of the design team at Canonical for Ubuntu, correct? Yeah. Um, we're here at UDS and we're planning out the 1204 LTS mm -hmm. release. What um, can we look forward to in terms of design for this next cycle? <coughs> well, the design is, right now we are, we're not going to roll out many new features because we're going to be uh, preparing the LTS, make the LTS, so we're refining our designs and making everything very usable, very easy to use. So that's going to be the, the focus for <clears throat> the next cycle. So you're really embracing that um, precise pangolin aspect of the code name, getting that quality and the, getting that concision, that, that, or the, that precision, the concise, everything all crisp and clean on the desktop for this next release, it sounds like. That's the goal. There have been many sessions this, during this UDS that had to deal with um, getting community involved in, in the design, with the design team, um, many um, sessions about what the design team was doing and, and what you guys were planning for this next cycle. Um, how can users who want to get involved with what you all are doing, how, how can they do that? Yeah. Well, we have some discussion lists like Ayatana uh, that we, we read very carefully and we participate and that's uh, one main uh, mailing list where people can contribute uh, their opinions and also we have the design blog on ubuntu.com and uh, there we the designers are blogging about the work that we're doing and we're inviting comments from the community. <coughs> I know that Mark talked about in his keynote looking um, forward to 1404 and that, that two-year cadence. Mm -hmm. When you look at, when, when you all plan, <coughs> I know some teams, they're, they're always looking at that two-year cadence. Are you looking at, as a design team, out those two years as well, or are you only looking in the short term for the six months? No, no, we're looking long term, of course. And I noticed that now there's a lot of design studies that come out of your team, stuff mm -hmm. that you do. Can you talk a little bit about how you go about um, how those design studies come about or those, and, and those design theaters I've heard so much yeah. about? Yeah. So um, <clears throat> one of the things that uh, is very important to us in, the, in our design team is uh, <clears throat> keeping in touch with users. So we do a lot of user research, not only to inspire the design, but also to, uh, <clears throat> to verify that we're doing the right thing. So <clears throat> what we've done, and spe more specifically in the last two years, is developed uh, <clears throat> a wide range of methodologies to understand our end users and to make sure that the designs are, <clears throat> are adapted to their needs. And so we do a lot of, um, like recently we started doing uh, co-design workshops where we invite uh, some participants that are professionally selected and uh, to come and design with us. And so that's one way to get inspired. We also do regular usability testing uh, where we can try new designs and see if new designs are working. We can explore innovation in, in uh, Ubuntu, see uh, if certain features are, are improving the user experience, the overall experience or not. So we're, we're really working very, very closely with users, involving them at all stages of the process of design. I know in the hallway tracks here, <coughs> and, and I, know, um, I know how much I've talked during this week, so I can only yeah. imagine that, that you're suffering from a little bit of that, that yeah. hoarseness that we all suffer by the end of the day on Friday. So I appreciate you sitting down to talk to me in spite of that. Um, but in the hallway tracks, um, one of the things that I heard from community who participated in those design sessions mm -hmm. this week was how you explain how you arrive at creating those icons or, or creating that look. And it just struck me as once it clicked, it's like users are now, the community is now 
rallying around what you guys are doing, at least mm -hmm. the community who, who is here and participated yeah. in those. Um, how does that make you and, and the other people on the design team feel when you, when you can actually engage the community and see that change happen? I, it's great. It's, it's really great because, um, you know, Ubuntu is a community uh, OS and uh, it's, re it's really great because it gives us a lot of inspiration. It, it's really, and we feel that there's power behind our designs. I know, um, I was in a Barnes & Noble recently and I was, I was asking somebody, um, a gentleman was in there with his two sons. One of his sons was still in high school and the other one was going away to college and they were having this conversation and um, for purely vanity reasons I went up to ask him about the official Ubuntu book they were getting ready to purchase and I asked him about Unity and I asked him what they thought about it. The younger son, the one that was in high school, was very excited about it. Was, was telling all his friends about it and it was, it was really something that he was excited about. The older son who had been using Ubuntu for a while now was coming around but wasn't as enthused as the younger generation was. And I think, or I hope stories like that um, inspire you all and you can see that you're touching a new generation and that you're, you're, you're bringing up a, a new generation of users who are just as excited and, uh, as you are uh, about what you do. What do you think when you hear um, that sort of shift it, it yeah. would just like four to five years in age difference. Yeah. Um, do, do you hear a lot of that <clears throat> Well, Well, there is, for people who have been using Ubuntu for a while, it's a change. And changes are always a bit awkward. That doesn't mean that in two years from now he's not gonna be as enthusiastic as his younger brother. Uh, I think that in that case it's a, a question of, you know, the, the first system you use and which excitement you get from it. I know that when we do the usability testing, we test often with people who are unfamiliar with Ubuntu. And the, <clears throat> the reaction to the design and to Ubuntu has been very, very positive. Even in <coughs> within the last year, we went from, you know, I used to uh, conduct these usability testing sessions. And last year, at the end of the session, I would ask people, so would you uh, adopt this, would you take it, you know, bring it home. And people would say, you know, it, asking somebody to change their OS is a big thing to ask. But now the, the last usability test thing that I've done with uh, the last version of Unity, people are saying, yeah, I'm going to try it. So, so we can see that we're making a lot of progress and that it's, it's a question of change. It's a question of being exposed to something new and just embracing it. I, I think it's very exciting <clears throat> to see people embracing um, the work that you all are doing. Mm -hmm. I know it was a shock in the community at first, and um, I was relieved that while that shock riff rippled through the community, it did not um, demotivate mm -hmm. the work that you all were doing. Like you, you stayed motivated, and you stayed focused, and you. Yeah. And, and you you stayed on a clear path. So so thanks for just driving that and 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 bringing to us this this new innovative interactive desktop basically. Um, is there anything that I haven't asked you about that you would like to tell viewers who who watch this video about now? Um, <clears throat> I mm, I can't think of. Anything. You know, everybody I've asked that question <laughs> yeah, it's, today. It's said very the same difficult. Thing. Yeah, it's um, Friday. Because it's Friday and, and yeah. your brains are, everybody's yeah. brain is like, it, they've been drinking from the fire hose <laughs> this week. So, um, but I want to say thank you to you. I want to say thank you to your team. Um, I look forward to what you guys are doing for 1204. I look forward to seeing what Ubuntu becomes in 1404 and, and even beyond across all the multi areas that Mark talked about on Monday. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be exciting. So thank you so much for what you and your team do and looking forward to 1204. <laughs> thank you very much.